Hey, what's up you guys? So I was in the middle of doing my makeup and I decided to talk to you guys about something that's near and dear to my heart. It's BoxyCharm. I've had this subscription service for I think maybe two years, maybe longer. Ever since I got it, I enjoyed it so much. So I thought why not share you guys what I got this month. So BoxyCharm is a service that you pay I think $26 a month and they send you a bunch of different skincare and makeup products they're typically full size and they vary every month they just now started to let their customers choose one item out of a few different options um so i personally really really like that so like once a month i'll get an email saying that it's time to choose and i usually have to choose one with well, one product amongst three and they're typically like similar products so I really enjoy that now. Usually the products in here retail for over $100 and you're paying $26 a month. So it's a really good bargain. Um, I'm not going to say that every month you're going to get amazing products because there are, you know, some boxes that are way better than others. Overall, I definitely think it's worth it. You really get a lot of hidden gems. I definitely suggest you guys try it out and let me know what you think. So... Yeah, the theme is Oasis, and they every box comes with a card, the theme, and then on the back of the card, it tells you about every product. It lists all the products that they included in your box, and it shows you the retail price. Are you guys excited? Are you guys ready to see? Um, so, the first product I got was the First Aid Beauty Bump Eraser Body Scrub, and I... I'm actually really excited for this because now that it's getting warm, I tend to get a little bit of razor bumps on my thighs. So hopefully that'll help. And I also got a Kylie Skin Face Foaming Face Wash. Um, once again, it's full size and this is actually pretty big. Ooh, this is nice. I'm typically not a fan of foaming face washes. I'm just not a fan of a lot of face washes. Um, I use African black soap now. I used to use more moisturizing face washes. For example, the Garnier, I think it's rose water one. I'll insert a picture. But it's like really, really moisturizing for your skin. Because um, I don't like how dry my skin feels after I wash my face. Um, but lately I've been washing my face with African black soap and... You guys should get on that because African black soap is like crack for your skin. Moving on, I got the Cab Lip Liner and Lip Gloss. I'm always a little iffy when they send me like lip liners, and just lip products in general because they tend to send me really, really pink ones. And I don't wear really bright pink like that. On my lips but this one doesn't look terrible um, I like it when they send me more like nude pinks because those are a little bit more wearable for me but typically when I get really bright pinks like this I tend to give it to my mom so I'm like really curious I'll swatch it here for you guys yeah, this is really really pink but the lip liner is super super creamy Wow Oh my goodness, this is huge. This is like a concealer wand. Um, I also got the Laura Geller Multitasking Eye Lip Cheek Palette. It's a cream to powder duo. I'm not a huge fan of cream face products for like contour, highlight, and blush. Um, but curious to try this out so I haven't bronzed or anything I literally just did my face my foundation my concealer and my eyes oh and my brows so I'm gonna be using this today and last but not least the Lily Lashes triple X mascara I'm curious to try this out because as you guys know I'm typically just like I only use really one mascara um, I use the Marc Jacobs mascara because that one is really amazing and you should totally try it. 
um, but a lot of times, I don't know, I don't really like switching up mascaras like that because a lot of times mascaras just don't really work for me, and I have pretty long lashes, so this wand actually looks pretty cool, um, but hopefully, hopefully I like it. Alright, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Geller palette. Hopefully it's not a mess. I'm like not the best at cream contouring blush i mean i can i can do blush and highlight but contouring is just eh. i'm more of a powder fan it's a lot easier to blend and i also have very oily skin so i gravitate towards powder powder products anyway but we'll see it says it's a cream to powder product so hopefully it works out Right, I'm gonna use this brush that I actually got from BoxyCharm I think a year ago so this color might also be pretty light I don't know if I showed you guys what it looks like but this is the contour shade or the bronzy shade or whatever this might be a little light for me but Ooh, let me blend it on my hand first I don't know it's like a slight bit too light for me even though I typically use powder products um, I've been wanting to get into more cream products for the summer just to have I don't know so I can wear just less makeup and have kind of that dewy skin I don't know I don't know about you but I don't really like wearing a lot of makeup in the summer once I have my tan like it's a wrap I know it looks really really natural but I'm really enjoying this now I'm gonna go in with the blush oh my gosh I just tapped I just tapped my brush like any excess is going to come off. I'm definitely going to gravitate more towards this for my no makeup makeup days because this is actually really pretty. And last but not least, the highlight. Also I use the same brush for all of it so I feel like there's no need to switch brushes it literally looks like skin Ooh. whenever I'm doing a dewy look which is not very often because I am an oily girl but whenever I do and I don't want to set my makeup I definitely do have to set my under eyes because creasing so what I usually do is I take a fluffy eyeshadow brush like this and I dip it into my setting powder and I literally just focus only on my under eye. And that's it. So now I don't have to worry about my eyes creasing. And then my face still looks really, really dewy. So this Lily Lashes Mascara. so far the first coat it's pretty good it's definitely give me length and volume which is typically what everyone looks for in a mascara so I really really like this now I'm gonna go in with like three more coats I don't know if this is just me but I don't like using a new mascara like let me let me elaborate I don't like you know the first second the first few uses of a new mascara because you know how it's like so wet and clumpy and just you know what I mean like it's all gooey I don't like that I'm the kind of person that I like when my mascara is literally like dry because I feel like I get the most separation in my lashes from that because when your mascara is really really 
when it's like new it, like your, I feel like it just clumps my lashes together um this one's not really doing it but it's like I'm still getting like that gooeyness um but that's just like a new mascara thing is it just me like comment down below if you're like that the camera's not doing my eyes any justice like my eye my eyelashes look so full I approve I approve let's try this bold lip I'm gonna go in with the lip liner <laughs> I'm gonna pass on this one Oh no. Alright guys, that's the finished look for today. Um, so overall, I'm really, really excited for these three products. Um, absolutely love the mascara. Like My eyes look absolutely amazing. It definitely reminds me a lot of the Marc Jacobs one, so I'm really excited to keep using this. Um, I'm excited to try this out. Summertime is the time for body scrubs because we ain't got time for flaky skin. And lastly, the face palette. This is definitely a must for just a quick five minute no makeup makeup look. Like it's very, very, very natural. You, The lighting is making it look a lot more natural than it really is. But right now, I think I'm gonna be enjoying this a lot. But yeah, so once again, I highly recommend BoxyCharm. It's a $26. A monthly subscription service like I said not all boxes are gonna be as great as others but even on an off month like you're still gonna end up liking a lot of products um, I know I haven't had to buy eyeliner in a very very long time because I always end up getting eyeliner um, you're definitely gonna get a lot of interesting products moist the moisturizers you get in there are awesome like so 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 good this is definitely something to kind of get you introduced to the beauty community so I definitely suggest you guys get it but that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching comment down below on what you think of BoxyCharm if you already have it what do you think about it and if you're interested in trying it let me know um, but I'll see you guys in my next video